Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti confirms new double injury blow after the game at the Santiago Bernabeu against Las Palmas. But before we talk detailly on that, I would like to welcome you to today's interesting episode. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Follow us so you do not miss on our next update. Real Madrid have been dealing with a number of injury problems at the start of the 2023-24 campaign and unfortunately things do not seem to be getting any better for Carlo Ancelotti's side. Combine that with the fact that the squad depth was an issue for, for, for them from the very beginning and it is quite clear why their performances have not been great. One of their weaknesses right now is believed to be their defense, where Real Madrid did manage to get a 2 0 win over Las Palmas to return to winning ways after the defeat against Atletico Madrid. They also had to see two of their defenders pick up issues. David Alaba had to be substituted off in the first half itself and has already been ruled out of their next game and while Antonio Rudiger finished the game, he seems to have picked up a knock as well. That is not good news for Ancelotti's side. As reported by Football Espana, Ancelotti said about this situation, David Alaba will not play against Girona. Rudiger has suffered a knock, Ancelotti said. Of course, a game against Girona won't be simply won't be simple by any stretch of the imagination. There are the surprise La Liga table toppers at the moment after Barcelona dropped points. Thus, Real Madrid will have been hoping to have their best team possible. There, that won't be the case, unfortunately. Rudiger issues does not seem to be as serious and one will be hoping that he is fit to future against Girona. Otherwise, Real Madrid could be in real trouble. Rudiger, Lucas Vasquez, Nacho and Fran Garcia might be their starting backline in the next game. But if the German international does have to sit that one out or start on the bench, Ancelotti might have to play Marvel or convert a midfielder or fullback into a center back, which is actually not good news for the Merengues. So, having said that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Follow us so you do not miss on our next updates. See you next time at Hala Madrid to us all.